Hi, my name is Sheila Hill. I'm an intuitive life coach and a spiritual guide. I want you to understand that if you are doing your work, if you are operating from a place that is grounded, that is spiritually mature, that you are responding instead of reacting, that you have the capacity to have love and compassion for the very real human struggle that people are in right now, that a very appropriate spiritual response is, I love you and no. I love you and I'm not doing this. I love you and we can discuss this at another time. Very strong, clear boundaries there are many people right now that are playing out their shadow aspect unconsciously because they aren't awake and aware or on the path in order to do their work. It is not a them versus us by any stretch of the imagination. Everyone's soul purpose and design and time for awakening and a, a time to become more conscious and aware is all perfectly and divinely timed. We have to respect this. We have to respect it and stop with the duality of who's awake and who's not. However, if you are one of those people and if you're watching my content, you likely are, we're at where we're at. There's a lot of people that are unconsciously projecting and unconsciously playing out their shadow aspect because they don't know any better. There are a lot of people on the planet right now that are really struggling. It's not that we aren't here to love them and to be the light, but we are also not here to take emotional suffering, get drawn into drama, <clears throat> or be projected on by those that are acting in an unconscious way. I have another video here that's called, I'll link it in the description box. It's called, We Are Here to Mature not to love and light. That might help you understand a little bit more where I'm coming from with this. We, those that are doing our work, are not better than those that are not. We are just more conscious and aware of ourselves and therefore have the sight and the wisdom to see those that are not. It's okay. But because you have the ability to love and light and because you identify yourself as a spiritual person who has an ideation that being love and light to everything and everyone, no matter what is going on, is how you're supposed to be, that's an actuality not true. Having strong boundaries around what you allow to play out in your quantum field is your mastery. So... People are struggling. People are acting out of their shadow unconsciously. It is the holiday time. It's December. The energies are intense and it is creating a lot of pressure on the awakened ones, but we know what it is. But on the unawakened ones, it's a lot of pressure in their field as well. All of their wounds and their traumas and their unconsciousness is being pushed upon quite hard. And you throw family and the holidays and expectations and financial issues and pressures into the pot. And we have some real potential here for there to be some drama. Your job is to remain mature. Your job is to remain in your wisdom, in your groundedness, to respond and not react, not get drawn into the drama. And the best way to do that is, is when you understand where you are, when you know fully like, no, I'm clean and clear and I'm not playing this. I'm not playing the drama game. I'm not the one creating this. But someone else is projecting onto you. Then the most spiritually mature way to deal with that is to, I love you and no. Whatever that looks like. It can be something you say in your head, but you just quietly walk away. It can be a conversation with the person. You know, I don't like how this feels, what's happening between us. I love you, but no, we're not doing it this way. I'll come back when you're calm. However you choose to deal with whatever presents to you is up to you. But I want you to know, I love you and no is love and light, 
it is spiritual maturity and it is acting from a place of wisdom. Please use it. Until next time. Bye-bye for now.